Hello, I'm Duncan Wells, and this is Stress Free Motorboating. Lassoing. This to me is probably the single most important skill to have. If you can lasso, you're in business. You can lasso boys which only have a shackle on the top and are too far down for you to reach with a boat hook. You can lasso cleats on pontoons to get a critical line ashore. You can lasso posts, bollards, palm heads. But effective lassoing needs preparation and practice. There are two key points to lassoing, and they are, first, the coils. These should be no more than 12 inches in diameter, small loops we can control, long loops we cannot control. We can throw small loops further than long loops, so we make small loops, and the greater distance we have to lasso, the more line we need, and therefore the more coils we will need. Here I'm about to lasso a cleat from 10 feet away, so I need to coil all the line, and then separate into two sets of coils with one part of the line between them. You might wonder why I'm in the garden. That's because when I go down to my marina, I am going to demonstrate excellent lassoing. I'm not going to practice in front of a crowd on a Saturday afternoon. Practice in private, perform in public. Now let's measure off our 10 feet. 9, 10, that's it. And then the second key point to a successful lasso, throw the coils high and wide. I flick more or less. And as you can see, I've thrown it beyond the cleat by a good 2 or 3 feet. Let's try it from 12 feet then. The hardest part of this is putting one foot-sized foot down in front of the other without falling over. 8, 10, 11, 12. Notice I'm holding on to both ends of the rope. Letting go of one end would be disappointing. Of course, if I was on a boat, one end would be attached to a cleat. I need a bit more line separating the coils to give me more swing. There we go. And there we have it. Generally, we're lassoing from shorter distances, five feet or so, and we would use just four coils, two in either hand. Of course, lassoing conditions here were perfect, a nice rope and no restrictions. The minute you go on a boat, you find there are things in the way. Here we have the ensign right in the way of any mooring or lassoing activity. So we'll remove it for the time being and replace it when we've finished. I'm sure no one would complain. Now we're in business and can get hold of anything we like. So here we are coming in for a very short distance lasso. Two coils in either hand, a single part of the line between them. With the cleat lassoed, we take up the slack carefully. We don't want to flip the line off the cleat. And then make fast with an oxo to the cleat on board. Sometimes, of course, we have quite a height advantage from which to throw our lasso. And that's lassoing. Practice makes perfect. Actually, that's asking for trouble. Practice reduces the chances of things going wrong. Yes, that's better. Mm -hmm.